So these are some of the oldest toys you have here. Why don't you tell us about them? I mean, they're actually reproductions of the oldest toys. Um, you know, back in the, in the day, I, I was actually selling the uh, the rare uh, vintage toys like Machine Man and uh, Moon Robot, as you see, you see right here. This particular Moon Robot is a replica of the original Moon Robot, but it's a Toy Tokyo exclusive because there's only 100 of these, and it comes with a card, and they're all numbered on the card, um, basically. And we picked this color because it was one of the original colors. So with the Moon Robots, who makes those exclusives for you guys? How do you make that happen? We work with a, a friend, uh, basically, and he's into robots, and I've been working with this guy a long time, and uh, his, um, he has a company called Robot Island, and uh, he um, is a very good friend of ours, and actually he makes it happen. Were you a big fan of robots like this when you were a kid? Uh, not really. No, uh, actually, no. I didn't, I didn't play with toys when I was a kid. Uh, that's why maybe why I like the toys now. I had that chance of, uh, of playing with the toys and looking at the toys. But back in the early days, I didn't own any toys. No, my mother actually didn't buy me toys. And so now you're a whole toy store owner. Yes, yeah, I'm very happy to have the toys. So one of the coolest things you have here at Toy Tokyo is your selection of imported kaiju dolls. Yeah, um, well, you know, they were imported from Japan, from Hong Kong, and now from China because China is the, uh, is uh, you know, the, uh, the inexpensive place where you can get these uh, or the, have these made. But uh, still, the J Japanese are the one of the, the better ones uh, uh, to get these from. And actually, this is the Gaigan, and the Gaigan is from Japan, made by a company called Marasan. Marasan makes a lot of the uh, kaiju monsters. Um, and this one was a special event piece. So you had to go to this uh, event, could have been Wonder Festival or Super Festival, and that's where you got the piece. We, we try to get as many Godzilla's different ones that, as we can, but it's becoming harder and harder um, to, to, to get because uh, there's such a demand for these Godzilla uh, action figures. You know, one of my uh, favorites, unfortunately, is not here, and that is the Disco Godzilla. Uh, that was the first Godzilla that I ever got because of just the way it looked and a uh, pretty expensive figure now. Um, usually that figure sells for around 600 and up. A lot of the Godzillas that I remember that we had originally, because um, you know we've been here for 17 years and not, they're not here anymore because it's difficult to get. But every now and then I have a chance to get the uh, collection, I'll buy a collection. So, uh, but we do have a, a nice variety. What are your favorite ones here that, you know, when people come to see, which ones do they seem to love? Well, I mean, just, to, I mean, for me, I always like the 54 style. So, you know, with the more or less the, the very monstery looking one, not the cutesy one. Take, for example, this, I mean, just the look. I mean, that, that's, that's Godzilla, you know? So, anytime they have that open mouth with the sharp teeth, to me, that's the Godzillas that I like. Uh, this is the Godzilla that um, Funko created for us. Uh, this is based off of the 54, uh, and it's the, uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful Godzilla. This is one of the first Godzillas, and I'm really proud to have it. It's a glow-in-the-dark version, and it was signed by Nakajima himself. All right, Lev, thanks so much for having us here at Toy Tokyo in the East Village of Manhattan. We're open uh, every day from 1 to 9 p.m. We welcome everyone from anywhere to come to our store, and hopefully they find whatever they're looking for.